Jerron, he in one place, I'm in another. Yep. You know what I mean? I'm looking for mega fights right now. And right now, that's not a mega fight. So, you know what I mean? That's my standpoint on it. I'm looking to fight guys like Canelo. You know, uh, that's pretty much it, man. And the rematch with Spence. That's it. Terrence Crawford has responded to Jiren Andis calling him out for a fight. Meanwhile, Eddie Hearn has said that Crawford versus Andis is the best fight that can be made in boxing today. Hearn stated that Crawford versus Boots is unequivocally the best fight in boxing. He expressed a desire to see Boots unify at 147 lbs before moving up to 154 pounds, noting that the move to a higher weight class is inevitable. Crawford against Boots is the best fight in boxing. I mean, unquestionable. But before Boots goes to 54, I would really like to see him unify at 147, and that will be a tough job for us, but one that you'll see tomorrow night we can deliver with a This crap. earlier this year, the British promoter ain't to deal with Enos, and now they're set to debut their first joint fight this Saturday night. Having lost the match, he truly wanted Boots will defend his if welterweight world title against David Evanescent in his most recent bout a year ago. Crawford clinched victory over Errol Spence, thereby ascending to the position of the unified welterweight world champion holding titles from the WBA, whoop if, and WBO Andis was required for a crack at the title fight because he was the if interim belt holder at the time. Prof displayed no inclination to take on the highly skilled, unbeaten American challenger, which ultimately led to him being stripped of the championship belt. Andis was consequently elevated and assumed the title of if champion by default. Crawford has opted to step into a a higher weight class set to face Uzbekistan's reigning WBA super welterweight champion Israel Madoff in a showdown scheduled for August 3rd. Hearn, who also promotes Madoff, told reporters that he likes Moff's chances against Crawford. However, he acknowledged that Crawford is clearly the heavy favorite in such a match. You know, I think that I really like Matthew Moff's chances against Crawford, but Crawford is obviously a big favorite. The promoter then mentioned that they want to schedule the fight when Boots has accomplished everything possible. At 147 pounds, Hearn admitted being surprised by Boots' ability to make 147 pounds, noting that at the weigh-in on Friday, he was 146 pounds. He also mentioned that Boots' father and trainer Boozy Enos commented that he believes Boots could potentially make 140 bits on him. You want to do it when he's achieved everything that he can achieve at 147. I've got to be honest, like being around him and seeing the size of him, I was quite surprised that he makes 147 like he does. Like the, the way in this morning he was 146 and Bosey was like, you know, I think you got I actually think he could make 140. I'm like, like and he Hearn added that Boots appear hydrated and his face showed no signs of dehydration. He mentioned that Boots believes he can eventually move up to 168 pounds, indicating that he will likely transition to 15, 54 pounds and then 160 pounds in the future. However, Hearn emphasized the importance of clearing up the division before making such moves. He stated that while Boots has won a world championship, it would be a shame if he didn't unify the titles given his talent. Dry, his face wasn't drawn in the slightest. And that was, you know, when I look at him, he, he believes he can go up to 168 eventually. So I think you're going to see someone like Jerron Ennis definitely move to 54, definitely move to 60 over time. But I don't like to make the move without clearing up the division. Like, he's won a world championship, but it'd just be a shame if he didn't unify. Many people want to see Terence Crawford and Jiren Enos square off, and one trainer has supported the fighter from Nebraska. Crawford has his sights on stepping up to super welterweight for a clash with Israel Madoff on August 3rd. Meanwhile, Andre Rosier trainer to Danny Jacobs has been vocal about a potential Crawford versus Enos matchup. The fighter from Philadelphia is scheduled to make his home city debut later this year after joining Eddie Hearn's match room. Enos's ultimate goal is to face Crawford, but Rosier believes the three-weight world champion would be too strong for Enos Rosier said I got Terrence Crawford at 154 now Boots is the only one I can see but I'm with TC all the way I'm with Terrence Crawford all the way moreover Turkey Alisic of the Saudi Royal Court stands poised to clinch the organization of the much anticipated Terrence Crawford versus Jiren Boots and a spout while boxing enthusiasts have eagerly awaited this showdown.
Several details remain to be finalized in the coming months. His Excellency is brake racing for significant hurdles as Crawford prepares to square off against Israel Madoff this summer. The anticipated bout is slated to take place in Los Angeles, California. During the first weekend of August, Terran, already a welterweight champion, will bulk up by an additional seven PBS to compete against Madoff in the super welterweight division, transitioning from 147 to 154 pounds in the event of this match up and should Crawford uphold his flawless record the path seems destined for a showdown with Boots despite his historical reluctance to take on Enos yet with Crawford's next fight in August the prospect of him delaying his return to the ring until 2025 looms large turkey Dalek is eyeing another potential matchup this time involving Saul Canelo Alvarez Canelo might soon square off against Terrence Crawford Alvarez has his sights set on a 2024 showdown potentially delaying a clash with Crawford this year nonetheless with a limited pool of contenders, His Excellency aims to leverage the Mexican boxer success early next year following the summer. More information about Crawford's next two opponents will become available. Boots Bo is the mandatory. He's calling you out now. Right now in my career, a lot of people like boost this, boost that, boost this. You know, um, fighting boost is a lose lose situation. I win, they're going to say, oh, well, he was young, he wasn't ready. You got the experience, so you got so much more than this kid that never. As Jiren Boots NIS is set to headline a hometown. Town showdown in Philadelphia this Saturday. His promoter claims he has outpaced even boxing legend Mike Tyson in ticket sales for a Philadelphia fight. He has surpassed Tyson's record set during his 1995 bout against Buster Mates Jura with tickets already flying off the shelves. Projections suggest the Enos versus a Venetian clash could draw between 13,000 to 14,000 fans, potentially even more surpassing Tyson's milestone of filling 10,000 seats in Philly marks a remarkable achievement, yet the if welterweight champion remains unfazed by this feat, directing his full attention to the upcoming bout. While pleased by the record-breaking turnout, his primary focus lies square on securing victory in the imminent fight prioritizing performance over the impressive ticket sales garnered by the event. The fighter from Philadelphia had originally lined up against Cody Crowley, who later withdrew leading to David Avanesian stepping in as his replacement despite the switch in opponent's ticket sales for the match exceeded Tyson's previous record following that ahead of his fight on the upcoming Saturday Andis was asked how he felt about Eddie Hearn's statement that he outsold Mike Tyson Andis responded calmly with an innocuous smile saying he didn't really feel any different. He remarked that to him, it was just another day, like any other emphasizing that it felt normal to him. Recently just said that you outsold Mike Tyson. Yeah. What, what does that feel like? I don't know. <laughs> it, feel, it, feel, it felt normal, I don't know. Like. Just, just another day for me. It really another day for me. You know, uh... The undefeated boxer, with a record of 31-0, further commented that he was excited and felt blessed to be at the Wells Fargo Center for the event. He clarified that all he was happy about was that supporters and ticket buyers from his, his hometown were there. I'm excited, man. And, uh, I'm blessed to be able to, you know, be here fighting at the Wells Fargo Center. And uh, I'm glad that everybody buying tickets, even if it's late. I'm glad you're, you're buying tickets, supporting. You know, and don't miss, you know, uh, this this big show on uh, Saturday, you know. Boots has emerged as a formidable contender, showcasing immense promise in the ring. Recognizing his potential, Eddie Hearn's Macroom Boxing secured his signing earlier this year. Hearn hailed Ed's addition as among his most significant signings, yet underscoring the boxer's stand-up talent. Despite the attention he is receiving, Andis is focused on his goal of becoming the next unchallenged welterweight champion. In the same interview, he expressed that he currently holds one belt and emphasized his goal to collect the remaining belts at 47 pounds before moving up to do the same at 54 pounds. However, his promoter is making the even bolder promise that he may fight one of the world's top boxers. You know, I'm going to go right now. Like, I got one belt, so I'm going to go ahead. When like I said, collect the rest of these belts. And be, and be, and be honest, do it at 54. I mean, at 47. I do it at 54. So, that's my goal. So, 47 right now. That's my main goal. Collect these belts. Be honest, do it Fans have eagerly awaited a showdown between Terrence Crawford and Andis Bud has triumphed over all challengers at 147 bits and now sets his sights on Canelo Alvarez at 168. Meanwhile, its promoter Eddie Hearn advocates for a Crawford bout, seeing it as a pathway for Boot to capitalize on his former undisputed welterweight. Happened Crawford has yet to do anything about it. He's like, ob nonchalant. I got got bigger fish to fry. I get it because Crawford is at the end of his career. But that would be a damn good fight. Make sure to check out some of our other videos on the screen if you enjoyed this one.